Again, this is the party that has delivered and protected the triple lock. But I know, Mr Speaker, ultimately he's not worried about any of this because we all remember that he's got his very own personal pension plan. I think we, we all remember it, Mr Speaker. Indeed, it comes with its very own special law. It was called the Pension Increase Scheme for Keir Starmer QC. It's literally one law for him and another one for everyone else. He wants to abolish national insurance. It will cost £46 billion, and he won't tell us where the money is coming from. We're no closer to an answer. I'm going to persevere, because last year the Prime Minister was apparently drawing up plans to remove the winter fuel allowance from pensioners. His paymaster general went a step further. He said these are the sorts of things that we need to look at. So will he now rule out taking pensioners' winter fuel payments <laughs> off them to help fund his £46 billion black hole. M- Miss- Mr Speaker, it-, it was this government that just this winter provided double the winter fuel payment to support pensioners. But what is crystal clear, Mr Speaker, is that we believe that the double taxation on work is unfair, Mr Speaker. We believe that hard work should be rewarded, and that's why this week we're cutting taxes by £900 for everyone in work. But in contrast, Mr Speaker, it's Labour's newest tax adviser who thinks pensioners should be taxed more. That's his words, Mr Speaker. This adviser calls them codgers. He thinks that supporting them is a disgrace, and he believes that their free TV licences are ridiculous, Mr Speaker. It's Labour who hit pensioners with tax after tax, and they would do it all over again.